Osteoarthritis is one of the most common forms of arthritis today. The disease is common in the hip, spine, and knee joints, when the cartilage covering the joints is worn and damaged, leading to stiffness, pain and reduced normal mobility. According to doctors, the definitive treatment of osteoarthritis is impossible, but patients can recover and reduce symptoms of the disease in daily life if they change their living and eating habits. Patients should regularly practice sports such as swimming, cycling, walking, to enhance metabolism, make the body more supple. Especially if you are in a state of overweight and obesity, you need to change to a healthy diet, rich in vitamins, limit fat, add vegetables and fruits. Daily food determines a lot in causing flare-ups. Pain or decrease the effectiveness of drugs to treat osteoarthritis. In addition to the question, what to eat with osteoarthritis of the knee, many patients also wonder what to abstain to improve their knee osteoarthritis early. Let's find out with N2T Healthy Live Chanel. Here are some foods you should limit. 1. Foods high in sugar. Foods high in sugar can cause joint pain and increase inflammation. If you consume too much sugar, you are very susceptible to diseases related to osteoarthritis, rheumatoid arthritis. 2. Foods high in salt. Consuming foods high in salt will increase the amount of high sodium, accelerate the aging process of cells, absolutely not good for people with osteoarthritis. Salt is also harmful to the kidneys which must be in a constant state of filtration. Eating salt can cause calcium loss from bones while calcium is an important element for healthy bones. If bones lose calcium, they will become weak, more prone to fracture, increasing the risk of osteoporosis. 3. Processed red meat. Processed red meats, foods high in sugar and salt are not good for people with osteoarthritis and even gout patients. 4. Foods containing gluten. Gluten is a type of protein that is completely unsuitable for many people who are suffering from neurological disorders, irritable bowel, diabetes, myositis. Foods containing a lot of gluten such as wheat, barley, oats should be avoided because gluten ataxia can cause an autoimmune disorder that affects nerve tissue and problems with muscle control or movement. 5. Canned food. Canned foods such as canned fish, canned meat, smoked sausages, all contain sulfites and other preservatives, which can cause inflammation and accelerate the aging process. In addition, canned foods are often seasoned with spices such as salt and sugar, which is not good for health. 6. Wine, beer. Alcoholic beverages such as wine and beer will cause you to accumulate toxins in the liver, increase dehydration, lack of sleep, which are factors that accelerate aging. 7. Omega-6. Omega-6 is an essential fat for the body, found in many vegetable oils, sesame oil, soybean oil, sunflower oil, chicken eggs, fat. But eating too many foods containing omega-6 will cause problems. Blood clotting, increased blood pressure, cardiovascular effects and especially pain, inflammation the cause of gout. 8 Foods Rich in Ages If you do not want to accelerate aging, stay away from foods rich in ages. Sweets, confectionery, will increase the amount of sugar, causing excess sugar molecules to combine with proteins, creating sustainable glycation products, i.e. ages, then the ages will destroy collagen, the substance. Prevent aging. Wheat also contains ages persistent glycated compounds that increase diabetes and aging of the body. 9. Fried, greasy food. Certain foods can increase the risk of oxidative stress, increasing levels of inflammation. People with osteoarthritis should abstain from eating fried, greasy, fast food, if you don't want to be friends with constant pain. And there you have it, the top 9 inflammatory foods to avoid if you're looking to reduce joint pain caused by arthritis. Remember, everyone's body is different, so it's essential to pay attention to how your body responds to various foods. Making thoughtful dietary choices can have a positive impact on your overall well-being. If you found this information helpful, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more valuable content. Also, share your thoughts and experiences in the comments section below, we'd love to hear from you. Thank you for joining us today. Stay tuned for more tips, advice, and discussions on health and wellness. Until next time, take care and be well. Thanks for watching.